everybody, welcome back to the channel. We are here today to play some mystery games. It's a free game, um, it's been played before, it's called The Monster Inside. So we will be playing that. Oh my goodness. <laughs> that was loud! It's a visible novel, and I saw- It got rendered rendered to me by Jad Subtri. Apparently he's played it, I was completely unaware of this game. And, uh... It got recommended me after doing What Remains of Edith Fins, and I was like, oh, this sounds neat. And so I have it. I don't know anything about it. Let's get into it, I guess. An audio visual novella by, by Random Seeds. Is that what it said? My heart pounded. Oh, here we go. So let's get to some lovely narration. My heart, my head pounded, ears still ringing slightly. Some of the worst nightmares I'd had in years left me feeling like I'd been punched in the jaw. But just like any other day, I dragged myself to the office. Oh, do you mean? There was another notice on the door from Mayor Vinetti's office. Permits out of date. They didn't like me much and were trying to drown me in paperwork. It was a slow month, weeks since I had any real case to work on, so I passed the time pacing the office, smoking and staring in, at the mirror in the corner safely covered with an old bed seat. I don't dare look at my own reflection, I'm too afraid of what I might see, afraid someday I might have to face what I really am. The girl came in, so quiet, I nearly choked on my cigarette. No, okay, sorry. The girl came. <coughs> I just composed myself. The girl came in so quiet, I nearly choked on my cigarette. Mister, please, you gotta help me, Mister. Calm down, sit and talk slow. Yeah, what can I help you with? Okay, thanks. It's just no one will listen to me. Just tell me your tale. I'm listening. She eyed me with a dash of suspicion as I tossed back a hand full of pills and chased them with a swig of whiskey. That doesn't seem healthy. I could tell this might take a while. Her name was Lily. She told me she was his mistress, a man all over the newspapers, the infamous banker, Mr. Renegald of Farnsworth. Mr. Farnsworth was a drunk, philanderer, bast philandering bastard, but this girl seemed so genuinely concerned that he had recently gone missing. Less concerned about the fact that Mr. Farnsworth's wife had just turned up dead in Central Park two nights ago. You don't understand, he couldn't have done it. He hated his wife, but he couldn't have killed her. Everyone thinks it was him and no one believes me. He's gotta be in trouble. Ain't saying it. Well, Mr. Um, Jack, you can call me Jack. Mm. Jack, you can call me Jack. Jack, whoever did this, his wife must have been it, the one who took him. He would have never left me. He promised me. I'm sorry, Mr. Farnsworth promised this poor girl a lot of things. Sorry, I don't know where to put my hand. Lily, please, the cops won't listen to me, and they want to bring him in on charges. You gotta prove it wasn't him before they find him. Honestly, I doubt they are in too much of a hurry. <laughs> Farnsworth has practically the entire police force in his deep, deep pockets. Probably why they hadn't found much yet. If they found him and brought him in, it would be due to public pressure. Sometimes a mob would pitch for is more dangerous than one man with money. Uh, you got my curiosity, but you might not like what I find. I can help you. We'll get to the bottom of it. Don't you worry now. And I just realized I don't have Twitch open up on my phone, and so I can't read messages. Um, I'm gonna do this. <laughs> oh, thank you, Mr. Zack. Thank you, but please, be careful. I don't think this was just any murderer or kidnapper. I think it- I think- I think it was a- A beast. Beast. The word stuck for me funny, like when you're, you jar your elbow on a hard corner. Not many use, 
Not a word many use these days, except in hushed whispers and bedtime stories for children. Beauty and the Beast. Oh, they were real enough, all right. They just drop better at hiding, controlling their unseemly urges. But I hadn't seen any monsters in nearly 15 years, back when I was still a cop myself. Well, that's definitely an interesting theory. But, but that's just a theory. A game theory. <laughs> don't name for statue. <laughs> I can help you. We'll get to the bottom of it. Don't you worry now. Leave the detective work to me and let's not jump to conclusions here. And you seem like the kind of man who's good at solving mysteries. So you can't see how big the search you see how busy I am with cases. I replied a little too harshly. Sarcasm wasn't my strong, strong suit. I reassured her some more and sent her on her way. It didn't I didn't want to scare her, but I warned her before she left to keep her doors locked and call me if she saw anything suspicious. I didn't know if she was in any danger herself, but better safe than sorry. That night, I made my way down to Central Park. It was a long shot, but maybe there was something there the cops had missed. Ooh, finished the first chapter. The scene was already pit clean by the cops days ago, but I've got a knack for finding the things others overlook. A knack, more of a symptom of condition, of her less useful symptoms, I kept in check. But for the time being, my keen sense of smell would come in handy. It was faint, but I could smell it before I even approached the police line. The scent was less of a thing and more of an emotion. Do you like my sultry voice for reading this? Sedutsen. A strangely familiar smell. I expected the scent of trepidation, or maybe even outright fear. But Mr. Farnsworth seemed to have been at the height of pleasure when she left this world. Brought new meaning to a crime of passion. Pushing the thought from my mind, it was time to get down to business and defeat the Huns. <laughs> Investigate the scene. Muddy footprints everywhere, difficult to pick out anything, from the prints the cops left behind in their haste. I am probably not going to make it through the entire game reading like this. But cops don't wear $2,000 pairs of carcanos. <laughs> what? It looked like Mr. Farnsworth was there at night and walked away on his own two feet. Investigate the scene. Um... Ooh, I'm like looking at the ground constantly. Look around, Hannah. A burn mark on a nearby tree caught my eye. I ran my finger along its length and felt a chill down my spine. This wasn't just any burn mark. It was a mark of an ancient of an ancient magic. It's doubtful the cops would have picked up on it. Could Lily have been right? Something unnatural was at play here. But I was no stranger to the strains. After looking around for a while longer, I realized the park had given up all it was hiding from me. So I trudged back to my apartment. My head hit my pillow like it owed me money. That's that was a very sore chapter. The next morning, I was reeling from another bout of ghoulish nightmares. But I tried to hide my discomfort when I saw Lily was already sitting outside my office. She waited wordlessly as I unlocked the door and ripped down another notice from the mayor's office. I motioned for her to step inside. Seemingly afraid of what I might say, she finally worked up the courage to ask. So, what did you find? Well, I've got some good news. Farnsworth might still be alive. Not sure about the beast, but something that's supposed to play. Might be right to worry about monsters. Found the spells mark. Um... I probably have seen her given her false hope like that, but she seemed like she needed something to hold on to right then. She didn't need to know about the mark on the tree. How do you know that? Where is he? Oh my goodness, my mouse just worked. Found his print friends. Seems like he got out safely in a red light. Well, 
My tone was indifferent towards her as I turned and grabbed a bottle from my desk drawer. A dryness in my throat made it difficult to swallow my meds. But don't you know where he went? Do you think the news this morning is related? What news is that? Haven't you heard? Yeah, but maybe you said- <laughs> Nope, rough night followed by a rough morning. There we go. They found the police chief's wife dead by the dots. They say it happened last night. Let me guess, Chief Umeto is missing too? My face might have betrayed a hint of satisfaction as he confirmed my suspicions, but it fadedly faded quickly. Amito was a bleep was a sit cop and a sit chief. He was half the reason I left the force, but now his wife was dead and I had more questions than I did the day before. The gears in my head started to spin, which wasn't helped by the splitting pain in my temples. I told Lily I needed time to work, and she left slightly dejected, wanting more answers than I could provide. That night, after the cops had cleared out the dots, I would slip down and see what I could uncover concerning Miss Amato's untimely demise. These are short chapters. I like this, though. I like the black and white. I love the noir film feel of it. It's really neat. The cold air smelled strongly of salt and oil and... Could it be? That smell again, like someone had bottled pure arousal and used it as perfume. It hit me like a long forgotten memory, but the sensual fumes soon gave way to a rush of adrenaline. I knew exactly what the scent reminded me of, and that scared me more than not knowing. I lifted my hands, sating, the nightmares, the headaches. No, I was better now, reformed. I had to focus, note something to conclusions, follow the evidence. Investigate the scene. Okay. Red Phoenix cigarettes, same city brand. I smoke every day. Everyone's got their advice. So, so far, it's seeming like he's the one who's doing all this. Like he's turning into some sort of beast at night or whatever. But anyways. There, just there, the smallest piece of purple fabric, torn and caught in the splintering, splinter of a board. Is there anything else for me to investigate? Before it tells me that I'm done. The police report didn't say anything about Miss Amata wearing purple, and it was certainly a quality that you wouldn't expect down here. Don't see too many high society types around flaunting royal purple threads. I pulled out my own pack of reds and lit up. I could already feel another headache coming on, but looking out over the waves seemed to help me forget. The cold helped me push down the uncomfortable thoughts that had been bubbling to the top of my brain. So, so far, it's seeming like as if this guy's the one who's committed the murders. Or is like as if it's like some sort of weird allegory for like his issues and bitterness towards people? I don't know. <laughs> I really want to pull down this <laughs> thing over here. I honestly don't remember to walk back to my office. Apparently, I spent the night in my easy chair. The air from the dots lingered on my clothes. It was still dark out. No, I'd set the clock. How long had I been out? Had I really slept for the entire day? A newspaper was sitting under the door. As I stood to fetch it, I nearly fell over. A wave of nausea hit me like a ton of bricks. I steadied myself and regained my composure before I even picked up the paper. I could already read the headline. Breaking. Mayor missing. Wife found dead. Two cases as a coincidence. Free is a pattern. The cops would come asking questions soon. They knew I had a history of antagonizing all the victims. Also, this guy sounds a lot like the previous thing of like two is a coincidence, three. That's a very Sherlock thing to say, just saying. I stumbled to my desk and slammed back three days worth of inhibitor pills. I couldn't take any chances, I had to investigate the scene to be sure. I threw on my jacket and went to the door. Lily caught me off guard on the other side. Zack, where are you off to? I've been trying to reach you all day. I'm sorry, Lily, I don't have time. 
Okay, but we need to talk when you get back. Stay safe. <sighs> she gave me a soft kiss on the cheek as I rushed off. Part of me wanted to stay and tell her it would be okay, but it would be a lie. Next chat. This is going really fast. I thought this would take a lot slower. I like this music. The alley was located just behind the high-rise apartments where Mayor Vinetti and his wife lived. I could tell the police were spooked now. The crime scene was even sloppier than the last. They hadn't even bothered to submit the trash into evidence. Investigate the scene. Why wouldn't they at least look for the dumpster? It seemed on tuts. No one wants to do the dirty work. But I know how to find the good stuff. It really doesn't take long if you know what to look for. Lightweight bags usually mean someone was dumping documents. If you were lucky, they didn't bother to shred them. Jackpot, sell company, Sadie stock trade, bribes. I knew Mayor Vinetti was crooked, but this was unbelievable. And there was more. Letters between Mayor Vinetti and Chief Ameto talking about me. How they were trying to suck me down. They didn't like me snooping around crime scenes all the time. Well, they weren't here to stop me snooping around this one. Vanetti's car. If he's still alive, why would he have left in his... Why wouldn't he have left in his car? It didn't make any sense. I honestly wasn't too motivated to find him, but the stakes were too high, and my bet was edging towards the, edging towards the unthinkable. As I searched around for anything that might assuage my fears, I caught the scent again. It overwhelmed my other senses with undulated pleasure. Un undulating pleasure. It was intoxicating, a weapon used on the weak willed, a weapon I knew all too well, but it had been many years since I had used it. Revenge. What's her lock thing? Let me just think for a second. I had a, I had a love is a much more vicious motivator. Um, Two thousand years later. Sentiment is a chemical defect found on the losing side. Sorry about dinner. <laughs> Sentiment is a chemical defect found in the losing side. Was there another like me? Was I being framed? It wasn't possible, was it? I was taking my inhibitors. I was reformed. But the nightmares, the headaches, the memory lapses. I couldn't even trust myself. I started talking, walking back out the alley when something shiny caught my eye. A Watts. Not just any Watts, though. My Watts. How long have my wrists been bare? Certainly I just dropped it when I first came down the alley. I set the time just before I left the office, hadn't I? Or had I used a wall clock? I couldn't be sore. I couldn't be sore of anything. So I ran. Well then. I don't know why I ran back to the office. The cops would probably show up any minute to knock the door down and cart me away. They would put it together before long. Maybe it would be the best for everyone if I simply faced my own reflection. But Lily was still there, waiting for me. Zack, what's wrong? You look like you've seen a ghost. My own ghost come back to haunt me from the past. You're not making any sense, Zack. Come sit down. You don't understand. You're not safe around. This is starting to sound like a very weird love scene. <laughs> it took a good. I took a good la look at. I don't know words. I took a good last look at her as I prepared to suffer out the door. I noticed these were the same things she had when she first came to my office three days ago. A beautiful purple dress. Odd that I hadn't really noticed before, but it made her seem out of place, out of time. And it was frayed around the edges, torn in places. My chair caught my fall and my knees, knees failed me. It was you. You were the monster, Succumbus. Oh, Zack, we are one and the same, you and I. We are both monsters. I am simply more honest with myself. There's no such thing as reformation. 
Those pills you take, you take only make you dull. Beasts like us should never suppress our true natures as you have, Incubus. Those men were probably dead too now, I figured. She probably took them to her lair and harvested their seed. So you've done all this just to wake me up? You could say that, though it seemed enough to have you doubt yourself. You believe you are still capable of such horrors, which means deep down you probably are. You can't escape it. Now I need you to complete the deed. You took my watch, messed with my head. Oh, don't you act like I didn't do you a favor. Those men hated you and wanted you gone. And now they are gone. I mustered the strength to stand again, moving casually to the window by the corner. She was right about one thing. I was dull, weak compared to her. If I refused her and she attacked me, I was a dead man. I had to keep her talking. I've never met a son. I can't print a, a, succumb a succumbus who seduces and kills women. Oh, please. Such a 14th, stereo 14th century stereotype. I don't discriminate when it comes to the pleasures of the flesh. Hmm. But I do still need an incubus like yourself to take the tainted seed I've harvested from all those awful men and plant it among the fertile masses for me. I'm tired of draining my lovers just to survive. I'm ready to settle down and start a family. <laughs> my goodness, this is weird. <laughs> I like how I gave the most dumbest laugh and then the description is that man at maniacal laughter. Sorry, I'm bad with words sometimes. I positioned myself carefully, making sure she was looking in my direction. Sorry, but I'm not your guy. With a, flick, with a quick flick of my wrist, I whipped an old bed, the old bedseat off the corner mirror. Lily was blinded by her own reflection and sucked into the mirror with a painful, monstrous scream. Trapped. Sealing my own lies, I pulled a revolver from my desk side and aimed it at the mirror. And fired. That scared me. <laughs> Well, that was very quick. Story and program, okay. Sweet. Interesting. Well, um... I wasn't expecting the game to be that sort. I honestly was expecting it to be at least, like, you know, an hour. But it wasn't, so here we are. Um... Yeah, that was interesting. I enjoyed that. Very weird. I didn't really get it, but, um... Okay. <laughs> I don't know what to think of that. That was interesting. <laughs> okay, then. Well, I hope you enjoyed that really random game. Um... <laughs> it was really sort. Again, wasn't expecting it to be that sort. But it was really good. I liked the story. I liked the style. I love the black and white noir film, noir film feel of it. It was really neat. I liked that. Um, but yas. Anywho. <laughs> it's literally only been like 40 minutes. It only took me like half an hour to get for the game. Alrighty. Hello everybody. Welcome back to the channel.